Hello everyone, it is Tuesday about 11.08. Got kids here at home. Everyone's finally at school, even though half of them are in, <laughs> well, all of them are in the elementary school because, you know, the middle school flooded. So Adana and Xander were not happy about that. <laughs> but it's fun to tease them that they had to go back to elementary. I usually, typically, uh, I will make um, a smoothie for these kids every day. Well, not every day, but it's something that they eat every day. And if I made it every day. And it is just bananas, peanut butter, protein powder, and I added a scoop of ice cream today because Nico said, please put ice cream in it. So I'm giving them some of this, and that's going to be their lunch because it's pretty filling. Peanut butter and protein powder and bananas and all the good things, carbs, fats, and protein. So... And then I got to go pick up Kenya and take her to her other preschool and pick up Adana and Harper for gymnastics, which is going to be a little bit of a trek because I have to drive a lot further to this vacant elementary school um, and put kids down for naps. I'll be back. Is that good or what? <laughs> is that good, babe? Say Nemi. Yeah. Kids are in preschool. Naomi is taking a nap. I am quickly working on emails from Jet Dental on my little laptop here. And then I gotta go pick up Adana, take her to gymnastics, and get home in time for a dog trainer to come help. I'm back and now I am madly just emptying the dishwasher because I have a dog trainer coming over just to kind of we got a little complacent you know when I got hurt I was letting the dog jump on the bed I was letting him get on the couch and now he just thinks that that is fine so I totally it's my fault and now he needs to get a little bit of I guess more discipline and I need to learn how to do it. I've never had a male dog before. I always grew up with little females. So I am quickly emptying the dishwasher just while I wait for her. And hopefully it will be nice and fast. So I can move on to my next jobs because if I'm not doing housework and laundry, I always have someone to pick up. So I'm just putting away sippy cups and bowls right now with my demented hand. And then I gotta take kids to tumbling and pick up preschoolers. And I am running out of time. Come here, hand. Now, going in to take Nico to preschool. Gonna pick up Kenya from preschool and take her to preschool number two. I really debated, like, should I put her in two preschools one morning and one afternoon? And I decided to, and I'm glad that I did. Because she stays busy, and when she's home, I mean, she wants me to play with her, and I would love to, but I'm working, trying to work the best that I can. Kenya. All right, we got her. She kind of had a struggle this morning, huh? But what made you feel better at preschool? The guinea pigs! Thank heavens. She's got a snake, she's got a lizard, a chameleon or something. She's got bunnies, she's got cats. What else does she have? Tortoise. Tortoise. And she's got a whole bunch of kids. Baby school drop by. <gasps> Go back to elementary. How was it? So confusing. That school is crazy. It's a... It could barely fit anybody. Hi, Harper. Didn't you have to walk through classrooms to get to other classrooms? Mm -hmm. How was it, Harper? It was interesting. <laughs> so uh, what did they do for lunch? I couldn't find the bathroom. <laughs> well, I was you will. change in the leotard. But how, what did you do for lunch? Um, or how was it? Was it just in the little baby cafeteria? <laughs> it's the worst. And they're off to Olympus. Another drop off. It's gonna work, even though it's a pain in the rear. 
problem is going to be when Xander gets home. Do those skills. I will. Okay, bye. Bye. Uh, the problem is going to be when Xander takes the bus home. They drop them back off at the middle school. But it's going to take a while. Packing onto the buses. Loading in. And he's got tumbling at four. I'll probably just have to pick him up and go straight to tumbling. You ready to get your butt kicked? Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, you woo, 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 woo. She's coming. Woo, 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 woo. you into shape, buddy. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> and I can't, can't wait. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. This live oak woo, 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 woo. dog obedience. Woo, woo, woo. Do you want me to hold her? No, yeah, hold okay. her for just a second. Let me see if I can do it. Okay, so go to the door. Is he growling at you or is he still he growling is. at the He is. He's not happy. Woo! 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 Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Right, to, to calm it's called an alpha roll. Okay. Uh uh. Don't. And you take your fingertips by her neck. No, to me. don't. Yes, uh -uh. To me. No. And the trick to it is you cannot let them up. Don't. Don't. Me. And then when she starts relaxing, uh uh uh. Every time she don't to me, Mom. No. To me. No. Every time she starts to relax, I start massaging her again. Mm. Okay, this is called an alpha roll. And if you look on Google, I had a guy, hey, no, no. I had a guy that took a class with me, and we did this in the puppy class. And he called me that night, and he said, Jan, I looked on Google, and they said it's an outdated method of training. He said, what do you think? And I said, hmm. Well... I guess um, we should tell all the mother dogs it's outdated too. Then. <laughs> right, right. Okay, and I'll tell. Does this hurt you? Does that hurt you? No. Okay. Does that hurt you? No. Pressure, right? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. So let me tell you. It's being dramatic. Do you see how loose it is? Yeah. You see how loose it is? Okay. This is how you walk down the street like this, on your side, not letting him pull in front of you anymore. So you see how it's like a necklace? It just hangs. You like this, don't you? You really do. See how it kind yeah. of hangs low? Yeah. You don't want it tight and high. You want it low. Okay. This is the size he used. So what I would do when you're walking is you don't want him to pull in front of you, and you don't want to drag him. You just want to loose on the leash. Gosh. And it's right. Good job, bro. Okay. Ready? So she's always ahead, always in front. Okay. You may come. <laughs> See what I mean? Yes. Okay. yes. So he never poof, out that door. takes never. off, right? Okay. So the baby's fine. Come on, I want you. Yep. To okay, that was totally fascinating. <laughs> I'm just being owned by this dog, and that's okay. I'm disciplining enough kids, you know, that you, you get complacent with your dogs. Look at this fetcher. <laughs> so, um, she did say something interesting. Yeah. Good job. She said, I don't care what kind of dog it is, they all have wolf DNA. And so they have their pack animals. Like, and I knew that, and I knew about the alpha, I knew all these things, but it's one thing to put these things into practice. So he is not allowed to growl ever. 
I always go in front of him. I feed him. I'm like, he always just goes and eats what he wants. She's like, nope, that's gonna stop right now. I was like, it is? And same with my kids. Like, I don't let my kids always go in good dog. I don't let them always just go in the um, closet in the pantry whenever they darn well please. But <laughs> with Bill, he can eat whenever he wants. So he's just like, shut up, fool. I'm gonna do what I want. <laughs> I just was blown away. I can't even believe I'm doing this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? And mama needs milk and diapers. Hi. How are you? Okay. I know it's kind of weird. Just wiggle that. There we go. And then see what I can do. Style. Yeah. What's kind of it called? It's called a thermo. And what is it? Just, just it's sees it. It's an X-ray of the ring. Wow. Sure. Oh, it is. It's 14 karat gold. This is my second wedding ring. The first uh, one, your, the diamond name? fell out, and this one he gave to me about five years ago, I think. Do it up in the light. No, just keep your head level, just try not to lean down. Try not to create a shadow as well. Holy cow! <laughs> Feel like a jeweler? Oh yeah. Does it sing? Oh yes. Name that movie, do you know it? I do not. That's a, give me a couple more lines. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty simple. Kumbaya, my lord. Oh yes, um, it is from well, True Beverly Hills. <laughs> Where the diamond is? Um, it'll tell me specifically synthetic stones as well. Flash points Jeez. have been uh, pop. What happened? <sighs> India, wash that up first, okay? Rinse it first. <laughs> Just so ready for bed. It's been a long day. The walls are clear, mostly. I still have that up there. Sometimes it's just hard to have the reminders, you know? But I also don't want to like erase him completely. It's hard because uh, I have a crack on my phone. So I'm like, oh, there's something on my chin, but it's just the crack on the screen. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want them to completely be out of, I mean, be out of their lives, even though we don't <coughs> really see him. Anyway, um, it was a very busy day. Lots of school drop-offs, pickups, lots of meals to cook, and I had to sweep the floor and wash the floor from the spilled milk, which were brand new gallons, brand new cartons of milk, which I was like, it happens. Um, I haven't even stretched out my wrist today. I just, it's hard. It's hard doing all of it on my own. It's hard and it's exhausting and I'm so sleepy and it's now when I can actually work. Oh, there's Xander. <coughs> Bill. <coughs> I practiced my skills with Bill. He didn't like it. He was not happy with me but it was successful and I am going 